that Indeed. Paul. All right, the final 10 minutes of the final breakfast show mm. of 2010. And Pippa, it's time for the big moment. The big reveal, if The you big will. reveal as to who will be the new host of breakfast in 2011. Shall we go? Let's go. Male first. Male uh, first. Male first. The new male host for breakfast in 2011. Come on down, Corin Dan. <laughs> Hey guys. Hey, it's so good to have you. Thank you. Thank You're you. well deserved, so Corin. Um, let's bring out your buddy, Petra Bagus. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are about to have the best job on TV. Well uh, done. <laughs> congratulations, yes. Uh, I, I'm really, really excited about it. It's so much fun to be able to start off our day with everybody in New Zealand, basically. <laughs> and it is fantastic, and it is a huge privilege. Corin, you know the drill. I know the drill, and what a legacy you guys have left for Pippa in particular, you yeah. you leaving, you and Paul. Mm. And to come in now is just amazing. Breakfast is so much part of people's lives, and we just cannot wait to carry it on. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. And, and the great thing about it, Corin, is because we know you're a muser, you know, in 12 months from now, <laughs> it's not going to be Jason Karras or Jordan Luck up there, mate. You'll be doing lead vocals. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not so sure about, we'll see that. about that. Well, you know, oh. Arms can be twisted. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, congratulations, guys. Yeah, we look forward to a great year in 2011. Petra and Corin, your new hosts for Brilliant. the new breakfast year. Now, we'll be back very shortly with Jordan Luck to play us out along with Monique Rhodes. But first, a special farewell message for Pippa from a very special person. Oh, the Christmas tree have a happy holiday. Welcome back. This is the final few moments of the final breakfast show of 2010. 2010. And Pippa, you have a very oh, special no. message from I a do, special I person. Do. Just before we leave, I did want to um, read out a message from Paul Henry. And I know that so many of you have been asking about what he's been up to. He wanted me to pass on his sincere thanks to all of you for all of your emails, texts, your kind messages, your cards. We passed on all of them to him and he was absolutely delighted. I know a lot of you are curious about what he's been up to here. Uh, he's been travelling around, he's been enjoying his time, slowly making a decision on what his next step will be. He's been travelling around a lot too. Um, I caught up with him last weekend. You'll be pleased to know he is still gluten-free. He's looking fit and healthy. He reckons that uh, those early starts or the lack of early starts will do that for you. Um, as for me, I'd just like to say a very sincere thanks to everybody who has allowed us into their homes. <laughs> um, a huge thank you too to the team. Oh, no. <laughs> um, to a wonderful, wonderful team, all the reporters, the producers, the camera people, um, the studio crew, all of those who are behind the scenes um, who work much longer and harder than I ever have. Um, I really appreciate it. It's been a wonderful three and a half years. Um, to the team members who are moving on, Maddie McLean. You'll know is going to One News. Rachel Collins, uh, Lindsay Zalf, our very talented graphics. Uh, Graphics guru, uh, um, Tamaya Jamieson's one of our news producers, and especially to uh, Tony Davenport. Uh, you're an absolute trooper, Tony. I see uh, you've already been given your flowers. Yeah. Absolute Thank trooper. Tony, I needed to, to pass on a message for you two from Paul, and he says, um, for a virtually blind producer of a television program, you've done a remarkable job. Fantastic, Paul. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thank you very much. And he misses you. Yeah, and we miss Paul very much. As the, our breakfast team here, we really, really love working with you, Paul. Uh, we miss you dearly. You've contributed fantastically. I've worked out you've done something like 3,000 hours of live TV on breakfast. That's just amazing, and we understand you need a break. And I'd also like to say thanks to the people of New Zealand for watching Breakfast, because even though faces change, the ratings go up. More and more viewers are watching us. Last month was a record month for people watching Breakfast. Nearly every week, nearly one million New Zealanders are tuned into this program. So we thank you most of all. I'd just like to thank, because I'm leaving, I'd really like to thank Pippa, Paul, Peter, Ali, Corin, um, Tamati and all the reporters that contribute to this team. You've done a fantastic job. Uh, I, I really, really appreciate that. I want to bring Sarah over here. Yes. Sarah is our marvellous producer. She is the go-get girl of breakfast and she put the show together today. She's done an unbelievable job in producing everything behind the scenes. She wanted to be a reporter, but she was a fantastic <laughs> producer. Congratulations, Sarah. Thank you, Tony, and thank you all to everyone. And Pippa, we will miss you so much, more than you will ever, ever know. And um, these are just for you. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you so much. And all the flowers from the National Flower Promotion Group. All right, that's the uh, end of the show almost for 2010. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Charlotte, Matty, Ellie. And, of course, thank you. Thank you all very much. All the best much. for February 3. And the little boy. <laughs> and the remember, little boy. Peter Paul <laughs> sounds really good. I'll remember that, Peter. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody. Time for us thank to sign Thank you for being off. with us in 2010. We leave you with a fantastic musical performance, very much in the spirit of the season, to be introduced by your new hosts for next year. Shall we have a go? You have a go. You go can first. we do this? Yeah, we can do this. Monique Rhodes and Jordan Luck are going to sing us out. Happy Christmas. War is over. Take awesome. it away. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody.